Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm just gonna be doing some get ready with me. Again, I'm going to go take my little baby doll to her training sessions today at Miss Petco. So I'm gonna go ahead and just be doing a get ready with me. Today I wanted to do something more like mercurial. Like we are in a mercury retrograde or we're about to go into one I believe. So I really wanna do something like very like metal-y looking so i was gonna do like a very graphic liner love a good fucking liner i haven't done a liner in so long and i really 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 need to so i'm really excited about doing that because it's been so long i've always been doing a lot of rounded shapes with my eyes lately because i really like that on me it really fits my face shape really i don't know i just like how it makes my face look and accentuates you know my eyes and stuff and the shape of my eyes but today i'm going to be doing more of a cat eye kind of look where i'm just going to be i'm really focusing on um a big motherfucking wing basically but i'm going to be using the nyx epic ink eyeliner here this is one i always use it's it's like nine ten dollars and it's good it lasts for a while um, so I'm just going to be using this to do my liner and pray for me because I haven't done a liner in a long time and liner takes some practice and I might be out of practice so we'll see. So what I do for my liner, people always ask me when I do my liner like, oh my god, how do you get it like that and precise? I don't really necessarily use concealer um, really ever, like ever. I don't ever use concealer to clean it up unless I like fuck up really badly, which does happen does happen I've done it before um, what I do is I start at the outer corner of my eye so if you see my if you see your lash line see mine are more almond shaped my eyes so they're like more pulled like that so it kind of fits a wing liner well but if you have rounder eyes which I feel like I'm in the middle I know I just said I have almond eyes but I feel like I'm in the middle um, you follow the curvature of your lower lash line. So you see, obviously your lower lash line is not completely straight. So what you wanna do is follow your lower lash line and continue at that curvature with your eyeliner. And that is gonna frame your face correctly because if you just draw any which way, the liner's just gonna look off place and like you don't know what you're doing. So what I do is basically start at the outer corner and just kind of flick out and start the line like that, just a, a very baby wing. So you don't want to go too far up. Do you see if I went like that, that's not at the curvature of my lower lash line. I'm extending that angle a little bit more. So what I do is just start here and this is the angle that my eyeliner should go at. So that's basically how I want my liner to look, okay? So that's basically what it is, and then I don't fling it out too, I mean that's pretty far flinged out, but I stop there, I'm gonna fling it out later more, and then I just kind of connect it. Come on girl, zoom in some more. So now what I'm gonna do is just bring that and just connect it to my lash line. Okay, so that's basically the shape that we're kind of going for. And we're obviously going to flame this up a little bit more so that, but that's the basic shape of what I want to do with this, okay? So, what I'm going to do is flick it out. Okay, like that. And then I kind of go at the tip one more time. And so do you see how I kind of just made it thicker? That's about the wing that I'm wanting right now. So now all I'm gonna do is fill her in. So there we are, and as you can see, do you see that little dip right here? I don't want that because you see it kind of makes everything a little disproportionate there. So what I'm going to do is thicken it up in my inner corner to create a curve because 
The eyeliner sits on your eye and it conforms. Obviously, your eye is not straight. And when you do this and you look forward, your eye has a curve to it. So there kind of has to be the the line of the liner has to kind of curve with the eye in order for it to feel like it's hugging it and not sitting on top of it, if that makes sense. But there, that's basically what I do for my winged eyeliner. And as you can see, it really pulls, see my eye looks more round here, but it really just pulls kind of everything up and I really like how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye off camera and then I'll come back to you and like kind of just talk while I'm doing my complexion product. Okay guys, so I am done. I just went ahead and put on my little lip here, Stata Cosmetics Lip Flush in Je ne sais quoi. And then I put on my Coffee Talk lashes in the shade Foxy. They are very, very um, uh, fox-like as the name hints at. They're very um, ones that fan out at the very end and I really love how they really reinforce the cat eye that I have going on here. So yeah, this is the finished look. I hope that you guys like this video. I had fun, you know, just sitting here and talking to you guys and also giving you some pointers of what I've come to conclusions and had epiphanies on with makeup. I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Stay safe, wear your mask, okay girl? And I will see you in my next video. Bye.